Wow. <laughs> oh, sweet. Sweet. Wow. These carvings are absolutely next level. Yeah. <laughs> what a great spot. Wow. Waking up in a beautiful day in Vancouver with these beautiful people. And this is how we're starting the day. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in a sidecar. <laughs> this is amazing. This has got to be the best way to get around the city. Oh my God. The best. I didn't get that one! You gotta do that again! That was insane! It's a wheelie! Well, a, a kind of... A, a, a sideways wheelie. A, 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 a sidey! Yeah. <laughs> At one point, I did honestly think we were going to roll over, but we kept it together. Not exactly how I expected to start my day, but nonetheless, <laughs> an amazing thing to do. Yep. That was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. Now, I took the passenger seat there away from someone, and I think it's time I give it him back. And here he is. See, that's not made for me or a human. It's made for the dog. <laughs> Found it. Yeah! <laughs> what a cool cat! Dog, but yeah. <laughs> Dude, Brad is going to be one of the coolest people I know. How does it make you feel? Your dog's more famous than you. Oh, like people it. are literally pulling over taking pictures and he's got a little sign to get tagged with. Oh! See, this is what a normal breakfast looks like. Brad, I'm going to say that's a bit hip. Also a bit hip. Lid, what is that? I'm not hip. What was that called again? Uh, Get your hands off me, you dirty bastard. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Dude, you just make people's days oh amazing by seeing this. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing I ever Lunch was very nice. But the day's adventure just begins. I will see you back at the apartment. Okay. Bedley, my boy. Godspeed. <laughs> Ride well. Tom from the future right now, just interrupting this vlog. Sorry, it's a little bit windy if it's noisy, but I need to tell you guys this right now. As you've seen me walking around in the vlogs, you've seen me repping the brand new abstract design. However, by popular demand, everyone said, Tom, we want the hoodies, the crew necks, and the t-shirt with the colorful design. So bam, you can now get them. They're on screen, as you can see right now. And if you want to get it, syndicateridge.com is the place to do it. We released it on the white design as a bit of something different, but everyone seemed to love color. I'm a bit of a just wear, well, it's a bit obvious, isn't it? Black Crocs, socks, shorts, top. Uh, it's a bit obvious I like dark clothing, but I do like a bit of color thrown in there. So just saying right now, if you want to get yourself this color combo, it is live, syndicateregional.com. So link's in the description, go get yourself some. And uh, between you and me, we're gonna be hosting a competition soon, uh, doing like a bit of a picture off in like the most epic, cool, almost like creatively interesting place uh, to do with this merch. So if you haven't got one, go ahead and do get one. Um, and there's gonna be some epic prizes. So shh, you didn't hear it off me because Alice doesn't know about it yet. So all in a day's work. Interruption of the vlog over syndicateregional.com. Links down below. Enjoy. Adios. All right, we are napped, we are recharged, and we have had our lunch. So it's time to go to a mountain. And off we go in the whip, my man is waiting for me. Boop. Pit stop, where are we? This is called the Capilano something park. Capilano. Capilano. Oh, Capilano. Capilano. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Vancouver. The place where you can be in the middle of the city where it smells like crack cocaine <laughs> with Tim Hortons everywhere. Drive 10 minutes and this is on your doorstep. Wow. And here we go. The reservoir and drinking water of Vancouver. Ooh. 
swimming. No swimming. No swimming. No, no, swimming, no boating. No nothing. As as you can get. Wow. Would you look at that? This is why you don't swim in there and get sucked through, because this is what is on the other side. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, imagine sliding down that. Vancouver's longest slip and slide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. Wow. Yeah, that would be a. Uh, that would be some serious air. So this was a little stop off before we head, if I go over here, to the mountain over there. Or if we get up there, we're about to see some wicked shit like lumberjacks. And potentially bears. Let the journey begin at Gross Mountain. I think it's Gross, not Grouse, but we are going up the gondola. Oh, I have not been on one of these in a long time. The last time was probably when I was in France or Switzerland mountain biking. Shit's terrifying. May the cattle enter the ride. Woodcutting, bears, birds of prey. And here we are. All right, all right. Oh my gosh, the queue to get down, not so fun. But it appears I've lost Lydia and Brad. Of course, I couldn't find them. Brad's looking at where the helicopters are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet. Sweet. Look at your nerding out. You're like, oh yeah, I like that. Whilst Brad's helicopter's like in use somewhere else, I'm like, dude, let's go on a helicopter. Because <laughs> think of all the times you're flying the helicopter. I, I know, I'd just be sitting there terrified the whole time. You'd be like, why, why is he not are pressing you, that switch? Why, why is he not doing pressing that switch? <laughs> okay, guys, stick to the schedule. We're heading this way to the Lumberjack Show. We have four minutes to get there. Should Don't we worry. be worried about what? We're going to make you feel emasculated. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks, Lid. All those weights I've been lifting. <laughs> Which had done nothing. Wow, that is epic. Wood carving and a half. I would not be surprised if the lumberjacks were about to go and see, cut them, because this thing we're about to go and watch is apparently a world famous show. It's very cool. Wow, these carvings are absolutely next level. Look at this, that you've got it on your doorstep. You're so spoiled. Oh, I'm loving this. The music, the vibe, this is what we came for. It's almost showtime. Last show of the day. Count of three, where are you from? One, two, three. Avon! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! For the next half hour, we're gonna take a journey into the past and experience what an old time lumberjack competition was like. Standing on top of these blocks of wood and chopping in between their toes with what? razor sharp racing axes weighing seven or eight pounds. Lumberjacks, ready? One, two, go! And check lumberjacks, come on now! Come on, Come on! I put my house on this! Oh no! Bullseye in the middle is worth five points, then four, three, two, one for the outer rings. We'll give each lumberjack one practice throw first to set their distance, and then we'll have three counting throws for a grand total of 15 points. No pressure. Oh. Yes! That counts. That was awesome. Canada. Now yeah. Axes. I can do that. They're bringing out the cross. Come on, Ready? One, two, oh, go! Oh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. What's the matter? What? Oh, I think I pulled some in my back here. Oh, no, not again. Okay, um, what do you want to do here? Uh, do you think I could just, uh, you know, stand up straight without... Yeah, stretch out the back? Yeah. Okay, yeah, these back injuries can be really not... Johnny! It feels a lot better, thank you. Yeah, I bet it does. Yeah. Can you put that back, I'll please? Back without yeah. cutting it. Without <laughs> cutting it! <laughs> Johnny, Willie, Willie, stop it! Stop it! Dude, 
we got the worst lumberjack ever. Carve up a recognizable little animal. My world record time at 32.2 seconds. 32.2, wow. wow. That's quick. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Willie, you're not alone. <laughs> One, two, go. There we go. We are carving up a bunny the time to beat is 32.2. Wow. 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 Five seconds. You got to be kidding me. I crushed the record. I smoked. <laughs> This has been really funny. It's like really funny. Oh, my mom uh, for dressing me this morning. Johnny's mom for last night. My oh! Oh, go on, Willie! Ooh! Another tree climbing competition. Ready? One, two, go! And cheer on you! Wow! Wow! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! He's destroying him! Right? I'm impressed. Oh, wow. Oh, do something! That's not helpful. Go get mountain security. Hey! I get the shotgun. Hey! hey. Oh, he made it. Let's give him a hand, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> well done. You did it. Check it out. I'm blanking. <laughs> Buddy, will you be serious, please? I'm going to that side. No, you're not. That's not supported through the middle. Okay, would you please hurry? I am hurrying. Okay, just grab the top of the tree, okay, before anything else happens. No! Can you guys squeeze in a little bit? No. No, take, no don't do that. Go! No. That was, that was good fun. You enjoy that? That was so good. I'm honestly saying this right now. If you come to Vancouver, the number one thing I'd recommend to do is go and watch it's that. It's super fun. That, that was, was brilliant. brilliant. What is that mountain? That is Mount Baker. Wow. In Washington State. So that's across the board. That's in a different state. Different that's in America. That's a different that's America. <laughs> Fuck those guys. <laughs> I think we're missing the bird show. It's not the bird show. Weeks of traveling. Weeks. Weeks of traveling. Oh my gosh. Why is she doing that? Look at that. Why are you doing that? I thought you were like, birds, the birds. That was a bloody bear. Really? <gasps> I could not imagine seeing that in the wild. So that's a grizzly. <laughs> wow. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> wow. Look at those claws. Flipping heck. That thing would destroy you. Brad, thank you so much for giving us the hospitality of your home and your friendship, like whilst you've been here. That was a that was a sneaky fist bump, by the way. We didn't just cheers water. Magic thinking there. Cause look at look at what you've given us the ability to do, man. To come here and check this out. This is like when you said I'm at Capilano, I was like, no, 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 go up. Oh yeah. We went to some suspension bridge. Yeah. Okay. This go is where it's at. Wow. And hopefully he'll come right on down here. Oh, what? Oh, he's going to take a pit stop right at the light post. Typical raptor behavior. He's surveying his surroundings. Comes on down. Excellent timing, Kirk. Beautiful right over the audience. Wow. Does anyone know what kind of bird Hercules is? We do. Is? I do. It's a bald eagle. A bald eagle, yeah. exactly. Wow. Oh, did you drop a bit? He's looking for the food that he <laughs> Much more keen on hanging that around. Is so evil. Um, so he is going to be soaring Ooh. up super high in the eye, yeah, in the sky, and ugly smelling bird. Vulture. <laughs> a vulture, and it's called uh, Gremlin. The bin, man. the bin man of the bird world. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yes. Spock? Great horned owl. 
Oh wow. That is now, absolutely is beautiful. Now, well, like I mentioned, oh, he is nice. a resident of like British <laughs> Columbia. He Brad's is cat. a resident of I kinda hyped you up here. Nothing. You heard oh, yeah. silence. When owls fly because of their serrated wings and their serrated feathers and the, all of that downy <laughs> fluff, I'm just absolutely Ooh, right. Time for a fast one. A bird. Hopefully, oh. uh, going to, he's gonna go and perch. Classic raptor behavior. I'm um, gonna have this oar with as much precision as possible. And he might catch me out. I am still very new to falcon flying. That is hilarious. It flew off after field. another bird. Um, Rest in peace, bird. So that, so that was amazing, even though the bird flew know, off. <laughs> um, it's done. What a show. By the way, did you pick up on the name? Solo. It's called Solo, but it's a falcon. Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Let's see where you stand against a bear. Brad could probably just about, you could just about 1v1 a black bear. All right, I'm saying sun bear for Lydia. <laughs> Maybe a koala. <laughs> wow, go to stand near the polar one. Oh my gosh, that would be scary. The, both of those are grizzlies. Both are grizzlies. Yeah, both are one's from the coast, the small one's from the coast, and the big one's inland. No thanks. Just another stop by the bears, cruising around the grounds. Flipping heck. They're gigantic. Oh, that is the shot right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That would have been amazing to actually see that on like the side of the, like a lake or something, just seeing it in the wild. That would have been amazing. Probably two weeks of traveling, hundreds and hundreds of miles traveled, saw no bears. It's so easy Come here. Bear, yeah, c come to here and it's Guaranteed. just so worth it seeing them. So only one of them likes the water? The, the one that's in there is like, <laughs> he's a coastal bear. Yeah. The one will go in when it's hot and stuff, but apparently he doesn't like it. Yeah, wow, that is mad. I know your um, audience are going, why do they have bears in captivity? Both these bears were found. The, the, these um, were found as cubs, right? Yeah, they would have died without their mother. They were both orphaned. Yeah, so before everyone goes commenting, being like, oh, it's so mean, they're trapped in a cage. They literally would not have survived if it weren't for people yeah. taking care of them, so. They have a pretty good life, I think, in here. That bear looks happy. This bear, chilling. That bear, loving life. Oh, now that is a brilliant angle. Now, before we take the gondola down, look at this lodge. Wow, this is, this is somewhere else. Oh, <laughs> Brad, <laughs> let's just buy pictures buy of, imagine coming here and, and like your, your kink is just buying pictures of random people. <laughs> I like that guy's yeah, feet. Oh, yeah. I like them feet. Yeah, I did. Would you just yeah, look oh, at that view? That's probably the view. Flipping heck. Vancouver, it's man. It's pretty wild when it's lit, like at night. Oh yeah, oh, just then, beautiful, yeah, cityscape. As Tom Petty says, something Vancouver. <laughs> something, something, something Canadian. Hey, up, stop the view. Lydia's found something awesome. It legitimately looks like Lydia's found a wild Bambi. What a great spot. Wow. Look at that. We go all this time without seeing animals and then look at them. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Go for a walk. Wow. That's so cute. Okay, I've got to walk very slowly. But look at these. <gasps> oh, you are adorable. Oh, they're going. And just like that. Hey, Bambi. Oh, there's the mum down there. Oh my gosh! Look <laughs> at this little tail! Oh, that's so sweet! Oh, hello! <laughs> wow! You couldn't write that. Those deer weren't like like in a cage or anything. They were roaming around the mountain. They could have been anywhere. And they just happened to be there. 
so cute. But it's time to take the gondola back down. Okay, listen guys, it's time to get the shot. This is hopefully gonna be one of the best time lapses we've done whilst we've been traveling. Fingers crossed. And we have secured find the, the position. I oh, know. There. That was a successful day. Brad, legend. So we thought we were going back, but Brad has pulled us up to Lynn Canyon Park. Mm -hmm. I, I still cannot get over the fact that we're just so close to a city and then so much in nature like that. Oh, it's so peaceful. So, so peaceful. At Pipeline Bridge, how many people have died and been injured at Seriously injured at 30 Wait, foot pool. And what? Pool and at Twin Falls. People just keep falling in? So there's oh my gosh. Rock. Accidentally killed in the canyon below as she was sunbathing. Yeah. Wow, so this is like one of the most deadly parks there is. Wow. What I was expecting. I thought we'd be like, oh, go to a beautiful place. Beautiful views. Turns out this place is absolutely treacherous. What the heck? Oh, oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> you know, not nervous about going on this at all. This is steep. Oh, a proper suspension bridge. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. 94? Cool. Thank you, dude. I've just been saying the fact that your city is like right next to this. Yeah, I know. It's like a like 10 minute drive. Just. He's sad. Sad. Coming towards the end of the trip. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you really wanted to extend it. We were really looking at extending the trip. Like, as you guys seen, like, we were supposed to be like going doing RV in. But like we haven't RV'd because like the way we were going to RV is basically how we did the car. You like drive, stop, drive, stop. And we basically kind of already done that. Like we were supposed to rent the RV at the back end of the trip. But because we've like done the car, gone to Banff, gone to Jasper, we did that bit. And then it's like the fact that we could add Vancouver onto this. It was just a mad, a mad journey. And we're kind of running out of time. So it may be the case that we return to Canada at a later date. And when I have the helicopter available to be fucking, so we can go do shit. Helicopter, RVs, the whole we'll nine just yards. just go camp in the mountains. The oh, helicopter. really? Yeah. Oh my God, don't. When's your holidays next? She's a teacher, it all depends on her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, shenanigans. No wonder he said come to this one. Yeah. We had to pay like 800 quid to go to the <laughs> last one. <laughs> and it was really busy. And yeah. it was tourists. Well, we were the yeah. tourists as well, but you know. Um, this, yeah, yeah, you know, it's a combination. I'm getting major Harry Potter vibes from this forest. We are completely in the Forbidden Forest right now. Wow, yeah, they're really serious about people not wanting you to cliff jump. way smarter than you. Damn. Do not cliff jump. As a teenager, you read that though, and you're like, well, I'm cliff jumping. This is straight up a movie set. Look at this. Just the moss on the trees. <laughs> this just doesn't look real. This almost looks alien. Like legitimately alien. And here we are, down by the river. Wow, there's so many people down here. So we could be here right now and then a flash flood would come down and everyone would be like panicking to get out. It's happened. That's why it's really dangerous. Because this water can just rise like crazy and you can just get tumbled down there and then it's like waterfalls and stuff down it. Yeah, Look how many people. Yeah, yeah, so you can understand like why someone died somebody didn't. This place is just getting just more and more surreal as you go through it, right? Yeah, legit. Spooky trees. And from nature to human beings making refuge at the 30 foot jump. Ah, okay, I thought they were jumping in off that, but they're not, they're jumping off that. If I was ballsy enough, I would definitely give that a go. Flipping heck. You think that's, you think that's like high enough? 
Imagine jumping off there. Flipping heck. Look what you dive into. So crystal clear. Damn. So if we were to do like a Yelp review of like Brad, what, do you, what, would the, what do you think? Oh, like, 10 out of 10. Uh, oh. Re whoa. Let's, let's be realistic Post about this. Vancouver. It's not like he gave us his apartment to stay in for just multiple days. Let us cat sit for free. Do you know what I mean? Like, what a disgusting honor that was. And then being a, a trail hike leader. <laughs> Are you a wilderness explorer? I sure am. I'm gonna take it with Zach. <laughs> Zach. So yeah. you gotta take a couple stars off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give him a 9.6. Because if you flip that round, it's a 69. And I feel like that's Brad's kind of attitude. Flip it right around. Flip that shit right round. 69 or 9 or 69 or, oh yeah. Ooh, the perfect time to cross. Back across the bridge we go. Deadly bridge, I don't know. Oh, what? Hell, hell no. I'll jump up if I'm attached to your helicopter and you fly off away with me. How about that? Well, back into the city of Vancouver we go. And would you look at that sunset? Beautiful. And we out on the streets of Vancouver on a Saturday night. We go in for some food, walking down the street and there was a fire truck. I forgot the name. <laughs> Uh-oh, what is going on in the siesta rooms? Oh, something is kicking off where we came from. Uh-oh. Oh my God, there's even more. What has just happened where we came from? Whenever this shit happens, there's a stabbing or a shooting. A stabbing or a shooting? Yeah, for sure. We were just down there. Yeah, I'm gonna say stabbing or shooting. I got goosebumps. What the fuck is going on? We were literally just stood in the middle. When I, when I started this first vlog clip of me like, we're out in the streets of Vancouver, we filmed that that moment when I saw the fire engine there. Oh my God, there's so many. Brad just said, this is the most he's ever seen and he's lived here all his life. Yeah, whatever it was, that's where we were stood outside and I was vlogging. Yeah, so and it just completely that blocked that was, off. You asked if that club was a strip club. Yeah, well, just for genuine interest purposes, yeah. not that I want to go. go <laughs> just clarifying. And then, and then, the, yeah, the fire truck that we saw is right there. Yeah, yeah. what? So we just missed that. By like minutes, yeah. That's lucky, whatever the heck is going on. Oh, be be now, I'm just going to jump in from the future and just give a bit of context as to what actually happened with this entire scenario because I feel like if I just left it like that I was like, alright guys, thanks for watching, you'd be a bit like, what, what, what was that? Long story short, do you know when I started filming when I was like, I'm in the streets of Vancouver, it's great, and there was the fire brigade there and everything, well it turns out somebody tried to set fire to the building whilst people were sleeping upstairs and um, stabbed a few people and ran outside and tried to stab some extra people as well. He actually did um, cause life-threatening injuries um, and life-changing injuries to different people, but I believe he tried to charge a police officer and ended up getting shot. So within the like five minute period of us being outside like, oh, a fire brigade, you know, they were there for the burning building attempt or what was going on. And as we walked off, the guy came running out um, and stabbed people you know when you talk about like counting your blessings like we could have been we could have been stood still there like lydia was outside the front of that building brad alicia was stood there that guy could have come running out straight into us and we would have just been there caught up in the entire scenario like it was absolutely insane you saw how crazy it got and it really was that close of a timing difference between us being stood there walking like literally a few feet away and the guy come running out. Like we had no idea because of the police sirens and everything like that. It, it was just an absolute madness. So just wanted to throw that out there. That that was indeed the, con the, the context of what was going on. Spoiler, I am actually home right now. Uh, as you guys know, you've probably got, I think like one or two more vlogs from the Vancouver adventure. I just want to say like, I know a lot of people have been saying these have been going on for a long time, but it was so difficult to film all the footage whilst we were traveling and we couldn't like do the daily edits and the daily uploads so it all had to wait for a little backlog so you've only got like two more videos of adventure left if not like one uh, video from canada left 
and then um, we'll be home. But do not fret because I have got some epic surprises up my sleeve. I really hope you guys have been enjoying them. Uh, if you're watching to this point right now, you're like an actual OG viewer. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Like everybody like has been commenting and enjoying the adventures has been amazing. I know you get the people who just click, watch for five seconds and maybe leave, but you guys are the OGs who are sticking around right now. And I just want to say thanks so much. Like it's been an incredible trip and I didn't want to do it a disservice by just throwing it into like a 20 hour video and then you're not having the time to watch it. I wanted to break it up into the key moments and key days, not only for you guys, but for me to look back on as a memory. So. Uh, yeah, there you go. That is uh, the context of what happened. Uh, hope you've been enjoying the adventure. And alas, we finally saw a bear. If that doesn't deserve a like rating, I don't know what does. So guys, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a like rating. And don't forget, oh dear, that the brand new colorway of the Syndicate Original Abstract Design is out. Everyone loved me wearing the white one with the color drips, but the black one didn't have that. So like I said earlier in the video, uh, they're available. So if you want to go and get them, make sure you go down, links in the description. You've seen me repping it throughout this adventure. It's been looking good, feeling good, but seeing as though it's getting to the point of the year where it's going to stop being so sunny, black is back in fashion, baby. So uh, yeah, links down below. Go check it out, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. So until then, much love. Adios.